Let's walk through this with an example. So this is showing a relaxed lung. Um, nothing's happening, muscles are relaxed. And what are the pressures? Atmospheric is 760, that's equal to zero. Inside the lung, intrapulmonary is zero. And then what's PIP? Negative four, right? It's, it's negative compared to intrapulmonary pressure. So what happens if we have this happen? What's happening here? Diaphragm is contracting. I want you to think about cause and effect. If once we have this contract, what changes first? What's gonna be a result of those changes? Um, and eventually how that results in inspiration in this case. So what's gonna happen first is actually, here's that diaphragm um, lowering, contracting. That's going to first decrease intrapleural pressure. It can be lower than intrapulmonary. Um, as long as it's more negative, now it's actually minus 10. It gets even more negative. This allows the elastic lungs to expand. They get pulled along and expand um, as well. So now the lungs have expanded. That's where we go over to this next picture. If the lungs expand, pressure decreases. Lungs expanding mean volume increases. That means pressure decreases lower than it was before. So we've got intrapulmonary pressure, um, 757 or minus three. We've got intrapleural pressure is minus seven, still negative compared to intrapulmonary as always. Here, these were zero and zero. Why is this negative three important? Well, we're now going to have airflow in um, because of this negative pressure here. Air is going to flow from 760 into the lungs. Inspiration occurs. And that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to get air into the lungs. So that's what we've done. Awesome. When inspiration occurs, that makes pressure um, go back to zero. And then actually it's going to increase beyond that as well to allow for expiration. Oh, do that. So lungs inflate, intrapulmonary pressure decreases, lungs um, fill with air as lungs, um, air goes down as pressure gradient. So summary of this, when you have inspiration, one, we've had these muscles contract, that causes thoracic cavity to expand, that causes pressure in lungs to decrease. You know, there's actually intrapleural, intrapulmonary that decrease that allows air to flow into the lungs. Over here, expiration. Those muscles relax. So here, this is step one. Step two, that reduces the volume of thoracic cavity. Three, that's going to, here's three over here, that's going to increase pressure and cause air to flow out. <laughs> 